Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a college student and beginner beekeeper who loves classic books, Earl Grey tea, modern art, old John Denver vinyls, and sunshine. I'm a writer and creator who lives in the countryside of beautiful Montana. Join me as I film bits and pieces of my crazy, amazing, and beautiful life. Hey guys, it's Grace, and guess what day it is? It's bee day. My bees arrived this morning. Um, I purchased a three pound package of Italian Carniolian hybrid bees and it is a beautiful Montana day outside to install them. So I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to get suited up and head out to the hive. So I did run into a few minor problems with installing my bees. So um, my queen actually arrived dead, which I kind of freaked out about at first, but um, someone that I work with, they're also a beekeeper and they were able to give me a queen that day. So um, that was a good thing. <laughs> um, and then the second problem that I had was um, that I installed my bees with the shake method, which I got on film and everything. and. Um, how that method goes is that you're supposed to shake the bees into the hive and then the remaining bees which are, which are still in the box that they won't fall the wind obviously you'll just set the box next to the hive and that's what I did but um, that night that I installed the bees it got pretty cold and it actually frosted and the wind was really bad and so that resulted in several bees actually dying in the box which I also freaked out about again. <laughs> so I texted one of my friends and he was just like, it's fine, like once your queen starts laying, they're gonna be laying up to a thousand eggs per day. So <laughs> that was comforting, but I did freak out because that is a crap ton of bees in there. And, um, but yeah, it's all fine. And the hive seems to be doing pretty well. The queen is alive and she started laying and um, it seems like I'm off to a healthy start despite those few run-ins. So today I'm gonna be making my bee water source and I've read up on this a little bit, I don't really know a lot yet, but um, since we don't have any natural water sources near my hive, um, I just searched on Pinterest and I'm gonna be making a water source out of um, a plant pot tray and then some river rock and then I'm just gonna fill it with water. And the reason why I have the rocks in here is so the bees don't drown. So if you just like give them a bucket of water, they'll um, they don't have like anything to land on and they'll drown, obviously. So that's why we have the rock in there. So I'm just gonna fill this up and then take it out near the hive. water source not too far away from the hive and we see how this works so yeah and we have a nice big yard with lots of natural dandelions and stuff so yeah I think it's a good setup and we have a huge alfalfa field that they'll be able to like pollinate and stuff and none of it's fertilized so it's all natural <laughs> so yeah excited so I am still very extremely new to this whole beekeeping experience but I've been researching, reading books, um, looking things up online, 
um, watching other YouTube channels with beekeepers who have done this for years. And it's been interesting and I've learned a lot so far. And I'm just excited to um, keep learning more about my hive and about beekeeping in general. And I'm so happy that you guys are along for the journey. So thanks for watching my first video. I'll see you next time.